guys have had a lot of travel, but you're facing a team playing their fifth game in seven days. There was a message before the game, they're going to be tired, let's go get them, guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was, it was one point of emphasis, but uh, you know, at the same time, we're we're in the middle of uh, of eight and uh, and in twenty eight. Uh, you know, we're four and four at the uh, at the start of that uh, uh, busy month here in March, and uh, that was more of the the message that it's about us, and uh, we need to make sure that uh, we understand that you know, four and four in the last eight is not where we want to be. Uh, you know, the but is is that, uh, you know, it's tough this time of year, right? Everybody has lots of games and there's tough travel and you have to find a way to uh, to get things done. And it was a greasy first one to start there and we didn't look back. At that, and then probably one of the best second periods of this year, you get two goals, including the beauty of a shorthander by Peterson. Yeah, I mean that that you know if we talk about the penalty kill first, you know they're they're are, they're a tricky uh, power play. Uh, you know uh, they have some uh, multiple weapons on there. And PK was excellent, uh, and then uh, you know real nice effort by uh, by Cambites and, uh, and and you know a real you know uh, you know really amazing individual effort by Peterson there to uh, I felt like that one there when you get to three. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of tough sledding for the opposition. And anytime a, a shorthanded goal can do that, uh, you're definitely going to get momentum. If I back up and say the start of the second period, we passed up a lot of opportunities to shoot in the first. I thought we came up with a shoot, a shoot mentality and get to the net, and I'm glad the guys were awarded. Then you get to the third, and they pull the goaltender with six minutes left. What are you thinking at that point? Well, you know, the, the numbers say uh, you got a 17% chance to tie the game up uh, if you're down by a goal with two minutes left, right? So you're down by two, you're four minutes, you're down by three, you're six minutes. So, you know, Ontario's playing the uh, uh, playing the odds, and um, you know, it was it was a good opportunity for us to uh, uh, to learn how to uh, to play six on five, and I thought I thought we did a pr pretty good job. And once again, Campbell, another strong night in net. What can you say about his play that you haven't already? Yeah, you, you know what? I'm I, I'm really just uh, I'm just I'm I, you know I, I'm genuinely happy for Jack Campbell. You know, uh, um, it, at times uh, people uh, get in a funk or lose their way. Uh, we've all been there. I know I have been there personally, and, uh, and I know every everybody at some point. Uh, uh, has found that and uh, been through that and I'm just happy to see Jack. Uh, he looks happy, he looks in a positive place. I'm happy to, to, to see that, that he feels he feels good about himself and you know as the coach of the team am, am, I, am, I, am I happy that he's playing well? You know that, that's a byproduct of, of uh, you know what he's done with, with the staff here with Sly Rodriguez and then also on, on his own uh, to get him to where he is now. So I'm just excited for Jack and happy for him. St. Patty's Day's plans. Uh -huh. <laughs> not, none for this guy. You know, watch the video and uh, uh, go home and uh, probably talk to the family real quick and call it night.